For years, this show has debated which jurisdiction has more political clout in the state of Maryland. Josh Kurtz, writing in Maryland Matters, states that in the race for governor, Baltimore County is more important than Montgomery or Prince George's County. What do you think, Mark? Well, uh, Baltimore County, uh, at least between the parties, has an advantage of being uh, more of a swing county. Uh, frankly, the Montgomery County voters are a little bit more uh, uh, one-sided. Uh, although I will say uh, Larry Hogan got over 40 percent in Montgomery County, carried uh, a substantial number of precincts. Obviously, he did not carry the county, but that was the fact that Baltimore County, he did so well uh, and others as well, w was more than enough to carry the state. So are you are you agreeing with with Maryland matters that that Baltimore County is is the one that you have to court? Well, the, the county, the areas, the electorate that are the most variable tend to be the ones that uh, the political consultants will tell you to focus on because those are the votes that are the most likely to move. Well, I mean, we forget, and, I, and I'll, Nancy, I'll go to you sure. and just say, we've got multiple candidates from every every jurisdiction. I mean, we've, got, I mean, how many from Montgomery County? Five or six? So, so Nancy, what do you think? Are we all going to cannibalize each other down here and Baltimore well, County is going to be kingmaker? Well, at least in the primary, I think that's likely uh, to be the case. Uh, we eat our young here in Montgomery County. Uh, we've got so many candidates running. There's no one who can claim a home team advantage. So that we have so many uh, good voters, uh, but they, we're going to split the vote amongst all these candidates. I think Baltimore is a more of a route for the home team uh, community. And I think that's going to be a challenge for Montgomery County candidates. But you never know. I know that I'm sure they're working it hard right now. The general is a different matter altogether, though, I do say. And I think Montgomery County is a, is going to lead in that de degree, just because we really show up. We're good at that. Well, I think the, I think the art, the, uh, the opinion piece was really written about, about the primary, um, because, because of the, the nature of the candidates. And uh, Josh Kurtz points out yeah. that that Peter Francho has has been spending uh, most of his career in, in Baltimore County, even though he's from from Montgomery County, trying to trying to get votes. So yeah. um, that that's you know that would weigh heavily uh, in in the primary at least. I'm um, sure they're all falling over each other at every possible opportunity up there. <laughs> Any last thoughts, Mark? Well, I, I will say, I think that uh, you can keep point that uh, Francho, having been a statewide office holder, uh, is much better known in those counties uh, and uh, has a leg up on that. That said, there, you know, he does seem to be a little bit, I think, behind. He's not the leader, at least in the uh, uh, the fundraising so far among the Democrats.